Welcome to Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. I'm Simon Redfern, the Dean of the College of Science, and I wanted to share with you some of the exciting science and maths that we do here at NTU, including the many opportunities that you'll have to study and to learn from world-leading scientists across the schools in the college. Some of our best graduates go on to a wide range of destinations at top universities worldwide, including MIT, Harvard and Oxbridge. However, even if you don't expect to stay in science research after graduation, the technical knowledge, the analytical thinking, the problem-solving skills and other skills that you'll acquire will open up a world of many career possibilities. So here are some examples. First of all, from the School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. And here are some examples from the Asian School of the Environment. And finally, let's take a look at some of the examples from the School of Biological Sciences. So, as you can see, the careers with a science degree are not just restricted to science research or science teaching. There are also many other possibilities. And who knows, you could become a world leader. The Pope studied chemistry. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has a PhD in quantum chemistry. Singapore's former president, Dr Tony Tan, has a degree in physics and a PhD in applied maths. And Prime Minister Lee has a degree in mathematics from Cambridge. You could be next. There are more than 200 faculty staff in the College of Science, each specialising in some interesting areas of science. Look at what made it to the news in just the last few months. For example, now a very hot topic, the biology of respiratory virus. Scientists from Nanyang Technological University have uncovered the structure of a particular pneumonia virus enzyme. Converting plastics into useful chemicals using sunlight. Scientists at Nanyang Technological University have found a way to turn plastic waste into a valuable chemical that can be used for purposes like energy generation. Developing technology to instantly identify airborne chemicals. Researchers have come up with an almost instant way of detecting chemicals in the air which could potentially save lives if there's a toxic waste spill or gas leak. Understanding Asian ancestry and the genetic diversity. A recent genome mapping project has revealed that Asia is more genetically diverse than previously known the science behind the next generation of memory devices. Now the technology known as re-RAM is said to be much faster than conventional RAM and stores more data in a smaller physical space. The mathematics of digital security and cybersecurity. The College of Science is the home to the Asian School of the Environment, the School of Biological Sciences, the School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, which comprises the Chemistry and Biological Chemistry Division, the Mathematical Sciences Division, and the Physics and Applied Physics Division. The ability to make sense of the universe and the natural world around us is an incredibly useful asset to have. And as you've seen, it's the very nature of science. Not only is it an important skill in science, but also in many aspects of everyday life and work. But we also believe that experiential learning and being creative is very important and we weave these into our curriculum. Here are some examples. First of all, from the School of Biological Sciences, at the Asian School of the Environment, and finally at the School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. We have frequent interactions with industry, so that our curriculum and our degree programs are always current and relevant. As a student in the NTU College of Science, you will get the opportunity to learn in a beautiful campus with state-of-the-art facilities conducive for education and research, and from some of the best scientists in the world. We hope to see you here soon.